Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Richard Wong, aka RW, with another video. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna do something a little different. People always be asking me on Instagram, in my DMs and stuff like that, to do tutorials. Today, it's gonna be my first tutorial. And a lot of people ask me how I sequence my drums in Logic, because they see I don't use the regular um, Logic sequencer, or the new drum kit designer, or the new step sequencer, and stuff like that. I use machine and so I'm gonna show you how to set up machine and logic to work perfectly in harmony and cohesive together and stuff like that and maybe you'll add it into your workflow or maybe you have machine you want to you know get a more fleshed out DAW but you don't want to lose your workflow same thing you can definitely apply that as well so before we get started give me a thumbs up leave a comment let me know what other type of videos you want to see Subscribe for more videos. Let's get it. All right, so before we get into the tutorial, I want to answer the question of why. I know you guys are wondering, why are you using machine to run your drums through? Why are you doing your drums in machine when you can just do them in Logic? They got a brand new uh, drum kit designer, step sequencer, all that stuff. Well, there's two reasons. One, I'm just used to the workflow machine. I've been using machine for a very long time and uh, it's just part of my workflow and it just lets me get out ideas so fast and so easily and it's just so seamless and because of that I don't want to you know get rid of my workflow just to use some new features and stuff like that and just always do what works best for you and uh, no need to change your workflow unless like it has some um, added advantages which I don't think it does However, don't get me wrong, the drum, the new uh, drum sequencer and drum kit designer is amazing. I do use it. It's not like I don't use it at all. It's that when I'm not in the studio, I don't have a machine with me. I use it all the time and it works great. So keep that in mind. And then there's number two, it's 32-bit audio. So Logic, for some reason, does not have the ability to audition 32-bit audio in its library. All right, so I got Decad drums that knock volume two. And as you can see, they're 24 bit and it works fine. It auditions them, it plays them completely fine. Now, if we go to drums that knock volume nine, which are all 32 bit audio files, it does not play. See, as you can see, it does not play. But if you go into machine and audition them there, they play. All right, so that's the second reason why 32 bit audio. Um, I feel like Logic will have it in future updates, but as of now, it does not, and that's another reason why I use Machine. All right, now that we got the why out of the way, let's go into the how, the tutorial. So right here, this is my normal beat making template. So I already have this drum, drum bus set up, and Machine routed throughout these channels, because I know for the most part, I'll have a kick, clap, hat, and an open hat. Well, the clap might be a snare, but you know, you get the deal. And then, um, so pretty much what you gotta do is open up Machine as a multi output plugin. So you go here, Machine, multi output, I already have it done. Actually, for the sake of the video, we'll do a new one. So go here, go to Machine, multi output 16 times stereo, bam. Now it's gonna load the plugins, right? Now, what this allows you to do is it allows you to route each one of these into a different um, different track. So as you see here, there's a plus here now, which means you've done it successfully. So let's do something quick. Um, not really gonna do, I'm just gonna do something really fast. All right, so I just made something just for video's sake, something really quick. I just have a kick, a snare, and a two-step hi-hat, and it's only legit one bar, so this is what it sounds like. As you can see, all these um, sounds are going to one track, which is our instrument three track, which is where we have the machine plugin. Now, in order to fix that and put every sound in their own separate tracks, you hit the plus. So what we do is you hit the plus here, and we have three tracks, so we hit the plus twice because the first track will be routed to this track right here. So boom, boom, right? So now you have to go to here to the mixer window and change these to external one, two, and three. 
Once you do that, it should go out these separately. There you go. So let's label these quick. I know it's a snare, I'm just used to putting it clap. Perfect. Now we want to create these tracks as well because they're not in our main window. They're only on the mixer, they're not in the main window. So I'm just going to highlight these. Control T. And yep. Let's go back out here. Now let's drag the MIDI. So click this button right here, which is the MIDI. Boom, drag it over. Now you want to click this as well because if you don't click this, you're essentially going to have two instances of it. It's going to play through the machine and it's going to play through here. Let's so get rid of that. Let's go here. You can get rid of these that we're not using. And then we have this. Now you're probably wondering, why is only one sound coming through? And it just happens to be the sound we have highlighted. Right? And that's because, simply, we have to route the MIDI's. So now that we have that, we have this setup right here, one, two, three. You want to go into here, go into input, MIDI. And now for these three, whoops, these three, put it to host. And now you want to select the different channels. So channel one, whoops, channel two, channel three. So now I'll read the MIDI's from those selected channels. So it should be fine now. Now I advise you to make a template just because you don't want to have to set this up every single time, especially if you use a lot of drum sounds. So what we do is go to file, save as template, and then name it whatever you want, name it machine, name it whatever you want, as long as you know what it is. So for example, me, I already have it set up. Every time I open it up, all the routing is set. I only have these four tracks created because I know I'm gonna have a kick, clap, hat, and open hat pretty much in every single beat. So I already have that done, but if I need more, just go and create some tracks. In machine itself, I have it routed to six drums, I believe. Yep. But for the most part, a lot of times I don't use that many tracks. So because of that, I have no need to leave it in my main window. So feel free to have it set up all um, 16 tracks. Just so, you know, if you happen to use that many um, drum sounds or stuff like that, um, you can do that. Also, this doesn't only work with drums, by the way. You can use instruments as well so if you you want to use the machine library for instruments and sounds you can do the same exact thing you just put the sound on there route it to logic and the same exact way so you would have a sound say this is like a keyboard sound you would just boom ex external one and that external one instead of kick would be keyboard all right it's gonna be for this one um i hope you guys found this helpful I hope maybe if you're a machine user and want to you know go into a more full-fledged DAW but you don't want to lose your workflow, hope this helps you out. And also my fellow Logic users who have a machine and want to use it or want to be able to you know audition 32-bit audio. I know there's definitely other ways to do it. So I wouldn't buy a machine just to do that. There's other ways you can you know convert everything to 24. There's other um plugins you can use as well but if you have logic have machine this is definitely the best way to use it together cohesively and yeah if you found this helpful you like the video give me a thumbs up leave a comment let me know exactly what you think subscribe for more videos let me see what other type of content or well, let me know what other type of content you guys want to see from me and yeah be sure to follow me on my instagram as well at mr rw where i post a bunch of mini beat making videos and it's the best way to keep up to date with when i upload and things of that nature and also um we're nearing 2,000 followers on there and once i hit 2,000, i'm going to drop a free brand new sample pack just as a thank you to my fellow producers who support me and things like that so yeah be sure to follow me there and yeah it's gonna be it for this one thanks for watching thanks for listening